Hello there, I'm Vienno and this is my first YouTube tutorial on D3, which is a JavaScript library. Um, in this first part, I should say we won't be doing any actual coding, I will just talk briefly about what D3 is. Um, so if you feel that you already have that knowledge, you should just skip this part and move on to the second part. Uh, so, for the rest of you, D3 stands for Data Driven Documents and uh, it's a, like I said it's a JavaScript library uh, it's not its own language it's a library that allows you to visualize data on a web page in a really easy way actually well the learning curve can be quite steep but once you get the hang of it, it uh, it's really easy to make quite uh, advanced visualizations uh, so yeah, this is the official web page d3js.org and if you click examples here, you'll get this long list of different visualizations made using D3. Um, some are highly dynamic, some are less dynamic. Um, yeah, and also for most of them, if you click, let's see, let's pick this one. Um, if you click, if you click the uh, visualization, you get the actual um, visualization and also the code uh, powering it, powering it. So it can be really uh, um, helpful watching other examples. And uh, d3js.org is a good starting starting point. So this is this is D3 code. Uh, we'll get into what this means later. Um, right, so it, what do you need to know, I mean, how advanced do you have to be uh, in order to start uh, coding in D3? Well, actually, it's kind of, it's quite simple, but you should have some, some knowledge about other, other languages, um, uh, what yeah that you use that you use in web design uh, before you start diving into d3 so if I just uh, click up my text editor here which uh, this is the place where we'll be doing our actual d3 coding if you don't understand what this means uh, you should probably learn about HTML uh, before you start it doesn't take that long it's uh, quite easy to to learn uh, but this is yeah uh, a core concept a core language of web uh, web design so uh, apart from HTML you you should be familiar with uh, CSS d3 uses C CSS3 selectors um, in in manipulating uh, the uh, the web document so yeah, you should you should know some CSS. As for JavaScript, I wouldn't say it's necessary to to actually know JavaScript before you start um, learning D3. In my case, it was almost the opposite. I mean, I knew some JavaScript, but hadn't hadn't uh, really been been doing a lot of stuff with it. But I I really felt that my my comprehension of JavaScript increased dramatically uh, as I learned more and more about D3. Um, also, you should be, f be familiar with the concept uh, the DOOM, which stands for the Document Object Model, uh, which basically, re basically refers to um, the hierarchical structure of a web page yeah, but you should just yeah Google that and read about it. Um, so yeah, I think that's I think we'll settle with that for this part. Well, yeah, actually, now I can't remember if I showed you this, but if you if you head over to d3js.org and click documentation, and then uh, API reference you'll get this long list of every every method and object and all the stuff that you use in D3 um, 
let's just pick something here. Um, yeah, you get this short explanation of each each concept. It can be quite technical and and uh, short, but it's a great it's a great source to to head over to whenever you get confused. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes it just confuses you even more. But yeah, I think we'll settle with that for this part, and we'll in the next part we'll actually. Um, try writing some d3 code so yeah i'll see you in the next part